We have been studying the subject of spiritual gifts and the baptism in the Holy Spirit at our Tuesday night Bible study and have been encouraged to take part in the meetings of the church. Also last week at the Bible study I was asked had I been baptised in the Holy Spirit to which I hesitated to give a direct reply. This was because of my limited experience and understanding of the subject. So in order for me to give a clearer answer to the question, have I been baptised in the Holy Spirit, I would like to share my experience and any evidence that I have. This is because when I first became a Christian in 1970, I was connected with an Assemblies of God Pentecostal Church in Aylesbury, and speaking in tongues was the general accepted sign or evidence of one having been baptised in the Holy Ghost. I'd met with some Christians who were from the Brethren background who believed these gifts ceased with the Apostles and were not expected in our day. I attended a Baptist church and other groups who taught the same things. And I was also given an article written by John Stott who, like the Brethren, stated that the spiritual gifts ceased with the Apostles. There were very few in my day who believed the baptism in the Holy Ghost was for today. So there was a conflict and difference of opinion among various Christian groups that I've met with. I felt it right to discover the truth for myself and had no reason to doubt the testimonies of those in the Assembly of God Church that I was connected with. I had a definite experience of conversion from an immoral lifestyle to follow the Lord Jesus Christ on the 16th of January 1970. I knew I'd been born again and had experienced the new birth, but had not spoken in tongues or experienced any other spiritual gift. However, I felt I'd been baptised or filled with the Spirit from the day of my conversion, but had not spoken in tongues as I'd heard other people doing in the meetings. So I began to ask God to baptise me with the Holy Spirit, which was something I was encouraged to do. So by way of testimony, let me relate to you what I experienced in those days and you tell me if I've been baptised with the Holy Ghost. This is because I've experienced many things, gone through many difficulties, faced many trials, turned from God in unbelief and into open sin to my great shame, which caused me to doubt my standing as a Christian and, on recovery, I now find it difficult to rely on subjective experiences. I'd prefer to believe what God has spoken in his word as a pointer to the truth and not rely on any subjective, personal, questionable experience. Within a year of my conversion I had a dream. One night, and in the dream, I was outside a high perimeter wall and over the wall was a gathering of people. There was a throne, high and lifted up, and orange flames of fire lighted up the throne. And on the throne was the devil, and those around were worshipping him. I felt indignant and knew this was wrong, so I stood up on top of the wall and intended to rebuke the devil and those involved. As I stood to speak, I began to speak in an unknown tongue very fluently, and then the pastor of the church to the left of me gave the interpretation, but I don't recall what that was. Then the devil rose up and motioned to come towards me, and I began to fear, and I drew back and responded by saying, OK, but don't do it. That was the end of the dream. It was during the following meetings of the church that I waited for the appropriate time to exercise the gift of speaking in tongues. As I stood to speak, my tongue was loosed to speak in a fluent unknown language of speech, and I could have continued quite some time with great ease. I can explain the experience by asking you to imagine a Coca-Cola bottle with the cap off and with one's thumb on the top of the bottle. If you gradually shake the bottle, the contents would fizz out and overflow on the outside. That was what it was like. My speech was from within my tummy and overflowing as I spoke in an unknown tongue. At the meeting, the pastor of the church gave an interpretation to my speech. Well, that was the beginning and I was able to speak like that, like I'd done on many times, whenever I wanted to, but without the same intense sense and feeling. My circumstances changed in 1976, 
and I felt it right to join a strict and particular Baptist church in Beerton near Aylesbury. And they did not relate to the practice and beliefs of the Pentecostal church. So my experience of spiritual gifts was restricted and not practiced. All the former members of that church have died and the chapel building closed for worship in 2002 and I, by default, remain the sole remaining member of the Beerton Strict and Particular Baptists. So, to come to the question, have I been baptised in the Spirit? I find it difficult to answer directly due to the many differences, doubts and conflicts that I have faced in the past and the differences of opinions in the various church groups I've met. So from what I've shared with you, which is a true and accurate account of my early experience, let me ask the question, have I been baptised in the Holy Spirit, as I cannot categorically state yes I have, also what would be the evidence to indicate this? I have never had an interpretation given me of another person speaking in tongues. I've never been given a predictive prophecy, but I have been able to preach the gospel in clear and certain terms. I've never seen a miracle of healing. I've never seen the dead raised. I've never seen the literal blind have their eyes opened. And I've never seen a lost limb grown or restored. Although I have been at some meetings where these things are claimed to have taken place. I've also seen professing Christians claim that they've seen these things happen. I've seen people claim to be healed, but are not. I've seen and heard Christians claiming to have spiritual gifts, such as speaking in tongues and to give interpretation of another tongue, and at the same time teach and hold doctrines contrary to the Bible beliefs that actually oppose the teaching of Scripture. And so, from my limited experience, I call upon any who claim to speak in tongues and profess to have been baptised or to have the ability to interpret tongues or work miracles to let them submit their experience, spiritual exercises, to be judged by others by the use of scripture. For if they teach, not according to the word of God, it is because there is no light in them. And I have good reason to believe many are deceived in the Christian world and so are not following the Lord Jesus Christ. It is my belief and understanding that regeneration, the new birth, being born again, the baptism in the Spirit and being filled in the Spirit are not the same thing. They are different and these matters can be discussed from Scripture and it is important to do so. These things are taught in Scripture and miraculous operations are recorded in Scripture. And so, if any claim to have such experiences, let them be examined and judged according to the scriptures, for this is what we are instructed to do. It has been 10 years since I've been able to meet with Christians and am a novice in my knowledge and understanding of charismatic gifts and operations of the Spirit. So this is my testimony and may it be of some help to someone. Please feel free to ask about anything I've shared with you today.